everyone, in this video we are going to determine the domain and range and write it in an inequality notation. So domain is the set of all possible input values. The domain of a graph are actually those values that are on the x-axis. In other words, domain is the set of all possible x values which will make the function work and will produce a real y values. While the range is the set of all possible out Put values which are shown on the y-axis. To better understand this, let's have this first example here. So if we look for the domain of this um, do of this graph that we have here, again, domain, we're looking for the values on the x-axis or the inputs. So in this problem here, the domain are the sets. Um, we look for the this dot here. We start from the left, going to the right. So this would be negative 4. And then we have the next one is negative 2. And then we have a negative 1. And then we have a positive 1. And then we have a positive 3. So these are the domain. Domain refers to the x the values on the x-axis. So it goes to that, this value right here, this value, this value, and this value. Now for the range, we are looking for all the possible outputs, uh, which these are shown on the y-axis. So in this case right here, we start from the bottom, then we have a negative 3, then we have a negative 2, then we have a negative 1, and then up here, we have a positive 3, and we have a positive 4. So these are the values on the y-axis. So first, we have a negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 4, I mean 3, and 4. So these are the domain and range for this graph right here. Now let's move on to the next example here. So what happens if we have this, um, we have an open circle and a closed circle. I'm going to put a, a, a note right here. We're going to use a different notation for the, I mean, we're going to use the inequality notation now to find the domain, I mean, to, to write the domain and range of this given graph here. So first stop, um, if we see an open circle, we are going to use either less than or greater than. It depends on, on the problem. And then if we have a, a closed circle, we're going to use the less than or equal to. So the difference between these two is that in the first one, um, if it's an open circle, that number that has that open circle is not included. That means it's not part of either the domain or the range. Well, if we have a closed circle, that means it is included. So open circle, not included, closed circle, it's included. Now to write the domain in inequality notation, this is how we write it. So first, uh, this one, by the way, is read as greater than or equal to, and this one is read as less than or equal to. So if I were to read this, this would be x is greater than or equal to whatever this value is and x is less than or equal to whatever this value is. So again, x is greater than or equal to whatever this value, and x is less than or uh, uh, equal to whatever this value here. Now, these two values here for the domain, since we say domain um, are all the possible values on the x-axis, this means, this means this is from the left boundary, and this one is on the right boundary. Now for the range, um, we have y is greater than or equal to whatever this boundary. This boundary that we have here is the boundary at the bottom. And then this is the boundary on top. So pretty much like left, right, bottom, uh, top. So let's take an example to better understand this. So we're going to look for the domain of this um, um, this graph right here. So the first thing that we're going to do is to um, uh, look for the boundary. So so we don't get overwhelmed with all of the all of the uh, parts of the graph. We can cover it so we can determine the the boundaries. I'm just going to put that on the side here so we can use that. So we cover this. So if we were to cover this, so that's the these are the boundaries. So first we have on the, uh, again, since we say domain, it's left and right because it's on the x axis. So I'm just going to go ahead and write x. And then since this is an open circle, 
I am going to use either of these, but remember, we're gonna, it's gonna be greater than on this side. So I'm just gonna use greater than, there's no bar underneath because this is an open circle. And I will look for this value. It falls on one, two, three, so that is negative three. And then I will go to be, remember this is the left boundary, this is the right boundary. So then I go ahead and uh, go to the uh, right boundary. It's on one, two, three. It's on three, but since this is a closed circle, I am going to put a bar underneath. So this is read as the domain is the values that are x greater than negative three and x is less than three. So that means all of these numbers in between, but the negative three is not included. So that means negative 2.999999 is a, and so on it repeats, um, is uh, part of the domain, but the negative three is not. Since it's an open circle, it's excluded or it's not included. Now let's have the range. To find the range, remember that's why this is the lower boundary and this is, or this is the, uh, the, the, the bottom boundary and this is the top boundary. So for the Y, since we're talking about the, uh, uh, the range, we're talking about the Y, we are going to put the boundary here. So that's the boundary and that's the boundary right there. So we start with, so we can go ahead and write it. So we have Y. The boundary on the uh, bottom is one, two, that's negative two, and it's a closed circle. So that means I'm going to use this. So that would be y is greater than or equal to negative two. And then I go to the top. Since the top here is an open circle, so that means I'm going to use one of these, but I'm going to use this one right here since that is an open circle. So that would be um, one, two, three, four, and that's a, um, that's a four right there. So this is read as y is greater than or equal to negative two, the values that are greater than or equal to negative two, but less than four, so anything less than four. So pretty much in between this uh, boundary. So this would be the range, but in um, for this case here, four is not included. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. So we start with uh, with the uh, uh, domain first. So again, for the domain, we're looking at the uh, left boundary and the right boundary. So in this case here, I can go ahead and cover this. So this would be, so the, uh, the values would be x. Since this is an open circle, I'm going, I'm not going to put a bar underneath. And then this is on one, two, three, negative three. And then here, since this is a closed circle, so that would be, there's going to be a bar underneath. And that would be one, two, three. So that's going to be a positive three. And so this is read as x, the domain are the values of x greater than negative three, but less than or equal to three. Now let's have the range. Again, the range is um, the uh, y, possible y values are the outputs. We can cover the, uh, let's look for the top boundary, and this is the bottom boundary. So as, you can, as we can see on the graph here, so the bottom boundary is negative five. Now others can say, is this an open circle or closed circle? Remember that a line or a curve is made up of infinite number of dots. Since there is no open circle here, that means that the dot that's in here is a closed circle. So again, um, line or a curve is made up of infinite number of dots. So since this is not an open circle, it means that it's a closed dot or a closed circle or it's a solid circle. So that would be a negative five for the bottom boundary. And then it's a closed circle. And then here on top, it's going to be on one, two, three. And it's going to be a um, close. I mean, it's an open circle. So pretty much we write y is greater than or equal to negative five, but is less than three. So because that's, uh, uh, the, again, we, we um, there's no open circle, that means, or that means it's a, it's a solid circle. So that I put a bar underneath and then it goes on three here and that's an open circle. So I don't put a uh, dot, I mean, bar underneath. Did you get the same answer as this? Good. 
Perfect. Now let's move on to the next example here. So let's uh, determine the domain and range for this. So let's start with the first one. So again, domain and range means I'm going to put this in here. So uh, when we say domain, we're referring to the all values of the inputs that would make the graph work or the values on the x um, um, axis. So in this case right here, we have a um, an arrowhead in one of the ends of the graph. This one is an open circle. Now, if we have an arrowhead, it means there's no boundary. So we're not gonna be putting, we're not gonna put the blue boundary here since it does not end. There's no boundary to it. So then we can, we can only put a boundary on the left, but not on the right since Boundary means it stops there. This um, arrowhead is telling us that it doesn't stop. So in this case right here, our domains, I'm just going to write X. Since this is an open circle, so as you can see right here, this is an open circle on 1, 2, 3, 4. That's a negative 4. So then I go ahead and say this is greater than negative 4. I don't put a bar underneath since that's an open circle. And then it's going to be less than positive infinity. Infinity means it, go, it goes forever, it does not end. It's like number eight that is uh, a sleeping number eight, so I would, I would say, so if, if, you, if you don't mind. So that would be a sleeping number eight would mean infinity. That means it goes forever, it does not end. So uh, this, this is read as x is greater than negative four. Uh, and then all the way to um, positive infinity. Or we can actually rewrite this uh, this way. It can be x is greater than negative 4. Any value that is greater than negative 4 are our um, domain. So let's take the range here. So for the range, I am not going to put a, again, range is on the uh, y-axis. Since this is going forever, I cannot put any boundary um, on the bottom. So in this case right here, we have a y. So this is, uh, we start with the bottom first. Since this is going forever, we are going to write infinity. So that would be negative infinity. Now, please take note that if we have an infinity, we don't put a bar underneath. So as you can see, there's no bar underneath. The reason for that is when we say when there's a bar underneath, it means um, it's included, but we don't know what's infinity. We don't know what that is. So it's just, it's going forever. So we're not going to put any bar underneath. So why is... Um, that part right there. And then we have the top. So remember for the range, this is the uh, the bottom boundary. This is the top uh, boundary. So for the top boundary here, that would be one, two, three, four. So that is less than or equal to, um, it's gonna be four. Now I put like a bar underneath here, because remember a line is made up of infinite number of dots. Since this is not an open circle, that means it's a solid dot that's in there. Okay, or we can rewrite this as y should be less than or equal to, um, that's gonna be uh, less than or equal to positive four. So anything that is less than positive four are our, we consider that as our range. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. So in this um, case right here, we have a circle. Again, we remember that um, we are going to use this in coming up with domain and range. So let's start with a domain. Domain is on the uh, values on the um, x-axis or all the inputs. So I'm going to put the boundary here. So the boundary is located on, so I'm just gonna write the x here. Since this is, remember, a circle is made up of infinite number of dots. Since this is not an open circle, that means it's a solid dot or it's a closed circle that's in there. So that would be x is greater than or equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. That's a negative 4. And then uh, less than or equal to positive 2. So x is greater than... Um, negative 4, anything greater than um, negative 4, but is less than positive 2. Now let's look at the 
um, range here. So the range would be on the y-axis or the outputs. So that's the boundary right there. So the boundary on the bottom would be negative 2 and the boundary on top would be 1, 2, 3, 4. So then we go ahead and write y should be greater than or equal to, again, that's a negative 2, and then that is less than or equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. Did you get the same answer as this? Good, perfect. Now let's move on to the next example here. So we have this um, graph. So let's determine the domain and range. Let's start with the first one. So I'm gonna put the rule up here so we can use that over here. So first we are going to write the domain. Domain would be uh, left and right. So in this case right here, I cannot put a boundary on the left since it's going forever. So the boundary is uh, right, it's gonna be there. So um, on the right side. So our x here would be, that is um, negative infinity. We don't put a bar underneath. And then that would be this one right here is one, two, three. So that since that's an open circle, that's gonna be a three. Or we can rewrite this as uh, the domain here would be all x values less than three. So that is another notation for this, for the domain of this graph. Now for the range, we are going to uh, do the top and the bottom. Now remember, that's the, that's the top right there, but for the bottom, it has an arrowhead. It means it's going forever, so I cannot put a boundary on the, uh, on the bottom. So then we can go ahead and write y, then it, uh, uh, that would be a negative infinity, and then it's gonna be, um, it's, since that's an open circle, that would be one, two, three, four. Or we can rewrite this as y, anything that uh, has a value of y less than four. So anything that is less than four, but not four since that's an open circle. So four is um, excluded. So anything that is lower than or uh, less than four would be the range. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. So we start with the domain. So for the domain here, again, it's left and right. So I'm gonna put the boundary right there. Now in here, since there is a an arrowhead on both ends, that means I cannot put a boundary here. So because it's going forever. So then the domain here would be x is, again, remember that this is not an open circle. Remember, this is made up of infinite dots. It does not end. So that means, I mean, infinite number of dots. So this means that this is a solid dot or this is um, a closed circle. So then we go ahead and uh, put a bar underneath and then that would be one, two, three, four. So it's gonna be a negative four. And then it's gonna, it's not gonna end on the, uh, right side, so that would be a positive infinity. Okay, or we can rewrite this as all values of x that are greater than negative or equal to negative 4. So anything that is greater than or equal to negative 4 all the way to infinity are our domain. And for the range here, that would be y. So we start from the bottom. So the reason why I cannot put a boundary here, because it's it's an arrowhead here. It's, it's arrowhead. Remember, if it's an arrowhead, it goes forever. So I cannot put a boundary because it does not end. So then we can go ahead and write this as a negative infinity and then positive infinity. Or we can rewrite this as pretty much like all numbers on the Y. And we can represent it as um, letter R. This means all real numbers. That means everything on the Y would be a uh, part of the range. Did you get the same answer as this? Good, perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.